we're back again. Going to be uh, fitting the back two inch lift blocks. If you've just found the video, the link or watch the first video that I've done for the front. So I've fitted the one side already. This is the last lift block to fit, be fitted. So I'll show you how to fit the back ones now. Right, first thing to do is to take this top shock mount off. That's that bit done. Right. Need to get under the car and take out the two bolts from underneath. Right, we're back under the car. Here's the spring. There's a levelling plates on there in any case. We've got a bolt this side, a bolt on the other side. We'll undo them and then we'll take the spring off. So I'll undo these bolts and I'll bring you back when I've done that. Right, and two bolts are undone. I'm going to put the spring compressors back on to hold the spring. Right, put the two spring compressors on. We'll go and jack the car up and then take the spring out. Right, I think I've got the jack high enough to get the spring out of the way. Put a second jack underneath the air just to make sure so I don't like that jack. And there you go, one spring out. Alright, we're gonna do a quick clean up. Let me find the bush again. Right, we've got to bolt this onto the uh, bottom arm. Like I said, I've got this jack, which ain't brilliant but I've got another jack there just to get this on with. Now it's not going anywhere. He says. So two jacks under the car. We'll bolt this down. Next job is to put the lift block on here so I've got to find some bolts which will fit what I need it to do. Now this car has these levelling blocks to level out the suspension a touch. There's three of them. You can leave it a little bit wonky if you want to, but I want it perfect, so... It has three of these on to level the suspension out. And once them three are on, the lift block goes on top. Now it's a case of just bolting this to the axle and that's what gives you the two inch of extra suspension. Right, we've got the lift block on now. We've got to put this back on with the spring. I don't want to need a spring.
put the spring back on. Just need to put back on these. I think this one was in. He drops it. Just putting these bolts back in. This is what holds the spring on. A bit difficult, but even worse when you've got very limited space and you just drop the bloody nut. And because the shocks are still here, it's in the way. Right, so that's them two bolts tightened up so the spring's kept on. So all we've got to do now is drop down the suspension, take these off. Mm -hmm. Right, it's been jacked down now, so we should be able to remove the springs easily. All we're going to do now is get that shock on there. In there, so I'll have to do the easy way. I can't pull the damper down. I I've gone too far. spring blocks are done so what I'll do is I'll go on the other side we'll get a quick tape measure right then as I said it's all done just for height ways or height I'm six foot two so it's getting bigger right to the top of the arch 45 and a half inch Front. It's 42 and a half inch. So the tires won't foul any foot anymore now. I've got a little bit more suspension back on the bottom end, I hope. So we'll call this a success. That's the two inch lift blocks done. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. Right then, I just got to say thanks for all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.